Welcome back here to a next chapter during this story. And in this chapter, we are going through a swamp. So we now have a cloak on, so we look like the a member of the Black Cloak Society, and uh, we uh, can therefore go around. You look under the log, but find nothing. It was a good idea, though. So we do not freeze, but whatever even may help us or not, um, that I do not know. I do not think it is a good idea to try and go into Hagatan. I think the alarm is walked on. Well, here is the swamp. This is a dreary, oppressive swamp. Everything here seems to be growing near foul-smelling water. Very little light manages to filter in through the thick canopy-like leaves from above. Yeah. Many have wondered, how do you get through this swamp? I mean, there's no marks on the trees or anything. The solution is right here, in, in this document. You read the Bible page again. Seems every song ever sung waxes nostalgic with someone. As you can see, it is either N, E, S or W the starting letters. So that means that it is compass directions. First is south and then we have east and then we go south then we go east and then we go south I don't think that water is a good idea to touch. And uh, then we go west. This is amazing swamp. <laughs> we go north and west. And south. And that brings us to that place. From here, you cannot make out much detail. However, it is unquestionably a castle. And then we go forth and view a very horrible person. The shrouded ghoul looks very frightening. His hands are little more than claws, and his face is nearly completely hidden inside the hood of the shroud. He is standing in a small boat. Hmm. Let's see if we can talk. Boatman, uh, I need passage. <clears throat> I said... I heard... The ghoul's voice chills you to the bone. It speaks with a deep, resonating bitterness. You cannot make out a great deal of its face, but what you can see has the hairs on the back of your neck standing on end. In life, I would row this boat for the master. Long ago was my untimely death in these waters, but still, I remember many things. Laughter. Tears. Well, he's not winning in beauty contents, in my opinion. May I cross, Sir Boatman? You have come to raid the Master's house. This I know but care not about. You should be warned, though. The master is not what he once was. Never has this land known a kinder, more compassionate, and nobler ruler than he. But his fate 
has long since been decided. Down the dark path he now treads, and he feels naught for anyone, nor anything, save for one other. And even that is a rare trait for a Nosferatu. You freeze. Neither the door of destiny nor Neptune mention this Count as being undead. The Count is a vampire? If I may ask, Sir Boatman, how did the swamp come to be here? Is it natural? No. The ground you stand upon was once farming land and dwellings for the peasantry. How did it come to be like this? A score of years passed after the master died and a great morass opened up covering the surrounding land with slime and poisoned water. Once rich and fertile, now it is no longer. The Count has caused this? It is believed so, for why else would his own castle be spared? Ah, thank you, Sir Boatman. The boatman has nothing more to say. Hmm. So he seems to be like a uh, Chiron from the the Greek mythology, who sent ill souls over. In Greek mythology, they placed coins upon the eyes of the dead. Called the eyes of everlasting sleep, which was payment to the boatman. The boatman accepts your payment and motions for you to climb into the boat. Which means that that is the way to go over. Mythology. The shrouded ghoul paddles across the toxic lake to the shore on the other side. We'll save here. And then we start a next chapter in a moment.